So, now let us move to the 17th problem. If the slopes of one of pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 is 3 times the slope of the other line then what is the condition? First option h square is equal to a b, second one is h square is equal to a b, third one is 4 h square is equal to 3 a b and fourth one is 3 h square is equal to 4 a b. Here just if you observe the keyword slope of the first line is 3 times the slope of the second line. So, that means actually the slopes are in the ratio 1 is to 3. So, I will explain the shortcut, but we have to convert into the quadratic equation then we can solve it. Here hint you see b m square plus 2 h m plus a has 2 roots m 1 and m 2 m 1 is 2 m 2 is equal to 1 is to 3. You remember the shortcut like this 1 into 3 here 2 h whole square add is equal to 1 plus 3 whole square add into b into a. So, let it be simplified this is 4 into 3 12 h square this is 16 a b any simplification is there let us do it. So, now 4 3 ja 4 4 ja. So, 3 h square is equal to 4 a b. Now, easily we can find out yes fourth one is the right option. So, this is one of the important problems this may appear in our competitive entrance examinations. 18th problem the area of the triangle formed by the lines x square plus 4 x y plus y square is equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 1 is first option root 3 square units, second option 2 square units, third option 1 square unit, fourth option is root 3 by 2 square units. So, if you do this problem actually it takes more than 5 minutes or even sometimes 10 minutes or so while calculating but numericals, but we have to remember this one as a standard formula one standard result we just like a book bank we have to remember this one as a formula we have to remember in our mind here we do not have any shortcut for this one for we have only one formula. So, let us remember that formula hint write down this will be useful the area of the triangle formed by the lines by the lines one is pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 it represents two lines and other line and say l x plus m y plus n is equal to 0 is given by. So, this has to be remembered delta is equal to modulus of n square root of h square minus a b over upon a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square. That means, in order to evaluate this one we require 6 values one is a h b values l m n values. A h b can be obtained from pair of lines whereas, l m n from the given line that means, here from this pair of lines a h b you can find out from this one we can find out l m n here what is l 1 m 1 n very dangerous here minus 1 bring 1 this side. So, that is why first let us write the values a stands for 1 because comparing to this one 
here two h is equal to two h is equal to four h is two and whereas b is one l is one and m is one whereas n is minus one now delta modulus of n square minus one square h square 2 square minus a b. So, 1 into 1 by a m square a means 1 1 into 1 square minus 2 h 4 into l m 1 into 1 plus b l square what is b 1 here 1 square. So, we have to calculate very carefully. This is 1 4 minus 1 root 3 by 1 minus 4 plus 1. This will be modulus of root 3 minus 2. So, root 3 by 2 square units understood. So, this is very very important the fourth option is the right option. Nineteenth problem: The product of the perpendiculars from minus one comma two to the pair of lines two x square minus five x y plus two y square is equal to zero is first option four, second option three, third option eight, fourth option five by two. This is also one of the problem can be solved using formula. So we don't have any shortcut for this one. Formula should be used. So. How, what is the formula? So, I, I would like to actually give that formula now. Here see the product of the perpendiculars from x 1 comma y 1 to the pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. You remember that formula substituting the respective values x 1 y 1 and a h b values we get the answer. So, first write down the formula. the product of perpendiculars perpendiculars okay from x1 comma y1 x1 stands for minus 1 here y1 is 2 to the pair of pair of lines a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 is okay. So, that is equal to modulus of a x 1 square plus 2 h x 1 by 1 plus b y 1 square very simple. Here in the left hand side we have to substitute x for minus 1 y for 2 that is all by root of a minus b whole square plus 2 h whole square. So, let us write respective values here a stands for 2, here 2 h stands for minus 5, here b stands for 2, whereas x 1 comma y 1 is how much? You can expect that is minus 1 comma 2, substitute the respective values. So, this is equal to 2 multiplied by minus 1 square plus minus 5 into x 1 y 1 minus 1 into 2 plus b stands for 2 y 1 square is 2 square upon a minus b it is very very important a minus b is 2 minus 2 whole square that can be neglected because 0 square 2 h whole square minus 5 whole square. 
now this is minus 1 square is 1 2 plus 10 plus 8 by this is 25 this will be uh, 20 by 25 so 20 by 25 is how much you will be getting in this problem now this is option 1 is 4 by 5 so option was the right option Twentieth problem: The centroid of the triangle formed by the lines x square plus x y minus two y square is equal to zero, and x plus y plus two is equal to zero is first option five by three comma one by three, second option minus five by three comma one by three, third option five by three comma minus one by three, fourth option minus five by three comma minus one by three. So I will tell you very amazing shortcut for this one. So, here very simple shortcut using options we can solve this problem easily we can crack. First choose the option multiply each coordinate with 3 by 2 you remember one thing take first option multiply with 3 by 2 3 3 cancel that becomes pi by 2 ok 3 3 cancel that becomes 1 by 2. Now checking substitute this one in this line. So, 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2, 3 plus 2 is 5 does not equal to 0. So, this is not correct option. First option has been eliminated. Go for second option. Similarly, for second option also multiply with the 3 by 2. So, you get minus 5 by 2 and comma 1 by 2 we have to check it substitute in this one minus 2 plus 2 0 yes second option is the right option. So, over this problem has been completed.